feedback on that, that statement, that question. Um, I had the privilege yesterday to go up to one of our neighborhoods where Republican canvassers were out being paid um, to collect signatures, and it was in a heavily Spanish-speaking neighborhood. <coughs> and I think what you were asking and commenting on was interesting because talking to these people, they didn't know what they were signing. Mm -hmm. And they were being told that they were signing to get Senator Hans to come back to work or to keep him to keep his job. And the one thing that was that was very interesting is they said, we want the truth. You know, we want we want to know what, what Senator Hansen would say. And I guess kind of talking about how do we reach these people. Yeah. I'm thinking I don't know if all these people who've been signed have documentation, our citizens, to be able to, to vote, um, first of all. Um, I say that mainly because my, my husband is a, a legal permanent resident, and he still is not a citizen, so he can't vote. So I understand the whole dynamic. But how do we reach you know, yeah. some of these people who are Spanish-speaking or other speak yeah. other languages? To, that are eligible to vote, or you know, get this information out so that Oh, you're right. See. And I think we really need to recognize we need a multifaceted approach, I guess. I mean, you know, I get so many younger people who will say, well, I sent you that on Facebook. And as Mary well knows, I like sent her this email back. It's like, I never look at my Facebook. I have like 99 people who want to be my friend. I think I know <laughs> one of them. I'm trying to figure out who they are. And, you know, and I don't read my messages, and it's different than my hotmail, and I still have my hotmail address, and that's even frustrating to me. But, you know, and so this notion of, oh, well, now we have the internet, we can send everything out on Facebook, you know, and I'm getting 400 things asking me to help recall Alberta Darling. And um, anyway, uh, which I'd be thrilled to have Alberta Darling recalled, but, uh, you know, I, I I'm not going to go down there every Saturday when I have my own election, and so why are you making me delete something on Facebook? And uh, all sorts of people, like my kids, who use that. And we have to figure out how to best communicate with people in the Hispanic community, and we need to uh, make sure we understand the Hmong community and how it functions culturally as well as, you know, do we have folks who are vote? But I mean, there are all those kinds of things. How do we connect with older adults um, who don't have computers at all? Yeah. My 85-year-old father says his tombstone is going to read computer illiterate. My mother reminds him that they're going to be cremated and he won't have one. So, you know, I mean, but, you know, that's kind of the way it is. But we gotta, we got to figure out how to communicate with folks. And it's not going to be easy. It's not like it was before. And I think you're absolutely right that um, hopefully we can be savvy enough to find ways where it's not always based on money. So anyway, after the election, you'll come back and talk about why the political system on both sides creates this constant need for money within it. But that you you can give that speech, okay? Anyway, thanks. Thank you. segue to food, even though it's a fundraiser. Uh, the Spring Flint is uh, happening on May 15th. It's a Sunday. And uh, I, we've got some people very excited. Uh, it's May 15th. It's a Sunday. It's the, at the Riverside Ballroom. There will be uh, drinks. It starts at 4.30. Drinks and fun stuff. Chatting. We can chat with one another. Food. Uh, Dave Hansen is going to be there speaking. Uh, which we, uh, you know, we will celebrate. Uh, uh, Jim Selesky will be there, and we'll have this great band. So uh, it's going to be a good time. It'll be an opportunity for everybody to talk and, and uh, commune and uh, eat and have fun and, uh, and raise some money. So uh, bring your friends, uh, bring your friends' friends, and um, we'll have a good time. Uh, getting back to the recall thing, the recall thing, I, I think everybody knows that we have filed papers today against Rob Cole. So said, one more bites of the dust, and we are very, very proud to have that one 
would be Rob Coles. Yes, it was a lot of hard work. And so it is sort of mission accomplished because we have filed the papers, but the next step is certainly to work very hard to elect someone in his stead. And we do have one person that is running, and uh, I don't want to rain on anybody uh, or preempt in any uh, way for that, but I would like for Rich, who I believe is uh, here in the audience. Oh, yes, he's here. <laughs> would you just come and say a few words, Rich, or would you not like to? Sure. We must. 